Hey Kids Fit Crew, I'm Dietitian Amanda and welcome to my hydration station. As a dietitian, I coach people with their health through delicious foods and drinks, just like your football coach coaches you how to throw a football. So today we'll talk all about staying hydrated. So let's get started. So with hydration, what we wanna keep in mind are of course fluids. You've probably heard over and over, drink more water, drink more water, but there's also foods that help us maintain um, hydration as well. Hydration is really important for when we're playing hard and sweating outside because as we sweat more we're losing those fluid and we're also losing electrolytes. So signs of dehydration or that our body doesn't have enough water include muscle cramps, lightheadedness, dizziness, maybe a bad mood, or you can even faint and none of that sounds like a good time, right? Right. So we want to make sure that we're getting fluid and like I said, electrolytes. So electrolytes like sodium and potassium and magnesium, they're going to keep fluid in and out of our cells properly and we have over 30 trillion cells. So we have a lot to keep up with, right? So we want to make sure that we're getting electrolytes and fluid through um, we have Body Armor Light or Hoist or there's some other rehydration sports drinks, but also you can get it through strawberries, pineapples, watermelon, cucumber, and so much more. So today we're going to be making hydration popsicles that I like to call Chief's Kingdom Popsicles. So all we'll need for this recipe will be fresh or frozen pineapple, fresh or frozen strawberries, and then you're, I'm using Body Armor Light, the tropical coconut variety, but feel free to use another flavor or a coconut water of your choice. And that's all we're gonna need. So pretty simple and straightforward, and who doesn't love a good popsicle? I know I do. So all we're going to do today um, is we're going to take about two cups of fresh pineapple, I'm using the Heidi Shortcut Pineapple because it's already cut up for me and that makes it really easy for you kids at home to be able to make these popsicles completely on your own. So we're going to add these to a blender or a Nutribullet and then we're going to add our third a cup um, of Body Armor Tropical Coconut. If you need to add a little bit more, um, go for it. Not a problem, just don't pour too much because then it'll be a little liquidy. But pineapple is going to provide us some delicious magnesium, which is one of those electrolytes I talked about, and also it's going to give us a tropical sweet flavor. I love the flavor of pineapple all summer long. You can have it fresh in smoothies, you can even have it on the grill. Okay, so now we're just going to blend this up. It smells so good, guys. I am pumped. Okay, I'm going to be setting this to the side because I'm not quite ready for it. So I'm gonna put this back in my measuring cup or you can use a bowl at home if you'd like. And we're gonna set this to the side. Next, we wanna blend up our strawberries. So with my fresh strawberries, we wanna make sure that we wash them and then you want to trim them up and cut them a little bit too. So all you're going to need for that is you can use a butter knife or if you're old enough or have adult supervision, you can use a sharper knife. I already have these washed up for me. And this is a great fruit to start practice cutting if you're not familiar or comfortable with cutting things at home. Starting off with softer things makes you that much more confident in the kitchen. So first things first, you're just going to cut off that stem. You want to get really close to the stem, um, so that way we don't have as much food waste. Strawberries are awesome because it's going to give us that potassium, another electrolyte that we had mentioned. And they have a ton of fiber, so each strawberry has over 200 seeds. And every seed gives us a little bit of fiber, so it's super fun. You can have strawberries fresh, frozen in smoothies, on salads. 
so many different ways and I'm just cutting them in half and tossing in my cup. I am using about two and a half to three cups of strawberries because we want a little bit extra strawberries compar compared to the pineapple. Okay, we have our strawberries ready. They're smelling and looking great. I'm gonna add these into my Nutribullet. And again, adding that tropical coconut body armor. What I love about body armor is it's nothing artificial, no added sweeteners, it's low in sugar, as a coconut water base, and it tastes so good if you haven't had it. There's so many different flavors from berry to fruit punch. It's definitely one of my favorites to keep in the refrigerator during hot um, or warm summer months. All right, setting this aside, now it's time to snap this on and we're going to blend. Okay, I'm shaking it a little bit. I think we are all good. You just wanna make sure all those chunks are nice and blended in there. Okay, now you're going to need a popsicle mold. So you can use any popsicle mold that you would like. Um, if you don't have one of these at home, you can make little mini popsicles by using an ice cube tray and craft popsicle sticks too. So, but I'll be using this popsicle mold today and I'll show you a few ways on how to get those popsicle sticks to stay in where we need them to. Okay, so our strawberry puree is going to be a little bit more dense or heavier than our pineapple puree. So we're gonna make sure that we pour this in first. And I'm pouring it about halfway full. If you make a little mess, that's a-okay. We can wipe it up later. Making a mess in the kitchen is part of learning. Beautiful. Okay, so we have our strawberry puree. Let's top it with our pineapple puree. And you want to make sure you pour it very slowly. Okay, this is gonna give us a nice little swirl. So if you were to be using the ice cube tray like I mentioned, you can use the popsicle sticks and what you would do is you would put the popsicle sticks in the tray, just like I'm doing with these already um, made or prepared handles here. But then afterwards, all you would do is take a piece of aluminum foil and poke it over, let those popsicle sticks go through, and that way you can mold it to your, your ice cube tray and those popsicle sticks will stay up nice and straight so they're not falling all over the place. Beautiful. Now these are gonna be delicious. If I wanted to, I can even add Greek yogurt to add some protein in there, or I can add chia seeds for a boost of healthy fats. Feel free to make these popsicles, you know, make them your own. You can use different fruits, vegetables, protein. So but this is a personal favorite of mine because it's red and yellow. So try making these Chief Kingdom popsicles at home. We're going to be freezing these for about four to six hours and then, or until they're frozen, and then we can pull them out by setting them in some warm liquid and making sure they're thawing a little bit so that they don't break. And then we can enjoy our tree after playing um, out in the field or a hot day in the sun. So that is my treat today. Make some Chief Popsicles, Chief Kingdom Popsicles this week. Be sure to tag Hy-Vee Kids Fit. We'd love to see your beautiful hydration creations. And wh while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and hop on over to HyVKidsFit.com. Join our club. We have so many fun activities and other recipes for refueling in fun and easy ways. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you next time.